What vegans fail to understand. It is true that animal cruelty needs to end. There are many things wrong with the meat industry and the way meat is raised and eaten is wrong and very unhealthy. And animals are sentient beings with feelings. However, vegans are people who have not fully awake and spiritually and are not seeing the big picture, and are caught in the matrix drama of the 3D world and fail to see beyond the veil. They think they are better than those who eat meat, and may have feelings of anger toward those who do not want to follow their dietary preferences, and are stuck with sadness and guilt when they see animals being killed for meat. They need to abandon the 3D world logical way of thinking to see the big picture of the universe and enter a higher spiritual state of mind, closer to source. Here are the important things vegans fail to see and understand. Number 1. Death is not the end. Death is renovation, a process of change that a soul has chosen. Birth and death are not different but the same thing. When a soul chooses to be born physically, it also chooses to leave the physical world. Death is a necessary process when the body can no longer serve its purpose of providing experiences to enrich the soul. The spirit leaves the body instantly and the body starts to decay immediately. Number 2. If an animal is killed, it means the soul had already chosen to leave the physical body. When an animal is being killed, its body's ego force will try to keep fighting to survive as much as possible because it is designed to keep the body alive regardless. But that mechanism is not part of soul and soul does not care what happens to the body when it's time to leave. The same way you don't care when you have to change old clothes for new ones. Animals that choose to eat meat are not evil. In fact, they are assisting in the process of renovation. Number 3. Soul force is the one that creates, grows and gives life to a body soul chooses the experience before being born. Animals are born in farms because their souls wanted to have that experience in the first place. The same way other souls choose to have the human experience and live in cities under social and economic rules. Animals in farms chose to have the food security experience outside the law of the jungle in exchange of becoming food for humans when their physical experience is over. Number 4. Animals that choose to eat meat are not evil. A physical body is energy. Energy is recycled and renewed by other beings through consumption. And this process keeps other beings alive in the 3D world for the period they need to be. There is no difference between a body being decomposed by fungus and bacteria, or a body being consumed by other animals. Number 5. If no soul wanted to have the farm experience, no soul would even be born in the first place and animal farms would not exist. It takes two to tango. Everything in this universe happens for a reason, everything has a purpose, and everything leads to a consequence that provides an experience for the soul to learn. Number 6. Animal cruelty, the current food industry and the way meat is consumed is wrong. In the end, humans will change for good. However, it will hardly be the end of the meat consumption. Human biology dictates an omnivore diet. Ask yourself, why is there a food chain in the first place? What force created this food chain system? Why are humans omnivores? Souls have agreed to have this system of recycling physical energy in the 3D world. Those who have incarnated as omnivores have agreed to recycle both plants and animals. Number 7. However, humans don't need to consume meat every day. They need it when their body needs. This depends on each individual, the part of the world they live in, the climate. Usually people in colder climates need more meat, the same way animals in the Arctic regions can only depend on meat. Similar to a car that need an oil change every 5,000 miles, humans need to consume meat depending on the way they live. If this is ignored, the body will not function at its optimal condition and eventually break down, the same way a car's engine may eventually break down when an oil change is ignored. Number 8. The main problem is that today almost nobody has the opportunity to eat fresh meat. Meat should be produced and consumed on the same day, without refrigeration. Because unlike plants, when spirit leaves, the body immediately starts to decompose, 
All meats sold in stores today are deprived of enzymes which is the chi life force and have decomposed to a certain degree and contain microorganisms waste that can cause all kind of diseases. Also, human biology dictates a high consumption of seafood and light meat. And surprisingly, Inuit and most Japanese people who follow this type of diet have fewer diseases and live longer. Number 9. All food is energy information that nurtures the body and keeps the body alive. Hormones, vaccines, excessive processing and overcooking distorts the energy information you need, and creates diseases. Also, there is food information that the body no longer needs, with age, such as milk. Number 10. The proper way of raising animals is to give them enough space, make their lives as happy as possible in a natural way, give thanks and bless the meat. The body is energy, and a happy experiences will create a positive energy that will consequently give positive benefits to those who consume it. Many vegans may still argue that humans are biologically not meant to eat meat. But they ignore the Inuit people. The fact that the human brain evolved to become complex when they started to eat meat. The fact that there are no vegan primitive cultures around the world. Veganism originated for religious reasons. Humans having canine teeth, developing hunting weapons, and eating short meals. Humans having carnivores as pets, cats and dogs, instead of cows and deer. And so many other things. True information is given only to those who are truly ready to receive it. For those who are not ready, it will not seem truthful, or no information at all.